Welcome back to the free reinforcement learning course from Neuralnet.ai. I am your host, Phil Tabor, and you are watching Module 5B, where we solve policy iteration. Quick note, a question came up in the comments. A subscriber wanted to know whether or not value iteration or policy iteration was faster to converge. Definitively, it is the case that value iteration is much quicker, and we're going to prove that, at least today, policy iteration is quite slow. And then in the next module, we'll get to value iteration and compare the results. When we left off, we saw that the policy evaluation had given us something rather reasonable for the totally terrible equiprobable random strategy. We see, as we would expect, the states furthest away from the exit of the grid world are the worst, whereas the two states nearest to the exit are the best, quote unquote. Um, so today we're going to deal with the problem of actually improving this policy, making it into something we can be proud of. So let's go ahead, head back to the Atom Editor and get started doing that. So here we are, but before we begin, let's take a look at the algorithm, the pseudocode we want to implement for policy iteration. So policy iteration is composed of policy evaluation and policy improvement. We already have the policy evaluation. We did that yesterday, yes? So what we need is the policy improvement. So it's pretty similar. What we want to do is initialize some stability flag, set it to true. We want to iterate over each state. In other words, conduct a sweep of the state space, save our old action, calculate the maximum action for our current state given the state transition probabilities and the rewards and the current estimate of the value function for the new resulting states. If the old action is different from the new action, then the policy is not stable. Keep going. If the policy is stable, then stop, return the uh, estimate of the value function and the policy. So we're going to go ahead and implement that in code. So, so that means all we have to do is write the policy improvement portion. Let's get started. Of course, we need our grid, the agent's estimate of the value function V, the policy, and gamma. Set stable to true. Create a dictionary for our new policy. And we want to conduct our sweep over the state space for grid uh, for state and grid dot state space. Old actions equals policy state. Now we're saving the policy, the we're saving the old policy. Make a list for our values. The reason we want to do this is because we want to take an argmax, so we have to know the value of all the actions in order to take the max. A list for the new actions. Now we have to iterate over our action space. And of course, recall that the weight since this is a random strategy, is just one over the length of that policy for a given state. Next, we have to iterate over our transition, state transition probabilities. Unpack that. So now, rather than doing a increment of the value, we want to do an append because we want to have a list of values for all the actions, right? Because we want to find the maximum action. I'm going to go ahead and round this. And the formula is basically the same. So the next thing we need to do is find our argmax, right? So we want to convert our value list to an array, find the maximum. I think I have one too many parentheses. Why would we want the worst actions? We would not. Old actions not equal to best actions. Stable is false. And then at the end, we want to return stable and new policy. Stable is false. And uh, while not stable, 
First off, we want to evaluate, print, We've got our new stability flag, our new policy, ENVV policy gamma. And it would help if I have, you know, the right variables. So let's do this to demonstrate how long it takes. Um, let's get rid of the print V and yeah, let's do that. So then at the end, what I want to do is print the V, the environment, and I want to print the optimal policy. And I also want to print some new line characters to delimit. And then I want to print whatever I happens to be, however long it took. So let's go over ahead back to the terminal, execute this, and see what we get, shall we? I almost forgot, before we go ahead and run the policy iteration, let's add in some simple counters to see how many sweeps of state space we need to make. So if we go up to policy evaluation, let's set i to zero and increment i by one through each iteration. And right before we return, let's print i sweeps of state space for evaluate policy. So let's do the same thing in improving the policy. Let's equal one and go ahead and print I sweeps of state space in policy improvement. All right, there we go. So now for real, I promise we're going to the terminal to execute this. Let's do it now. All right, here we are. Python policy evaluation. Okay, so just to read you, we have, yeah, you can read that. So we have 315,200 sweeps initially for the starting policy to evaluate, and then 80 sweeps of improvement about what we would, what we would expect, and then a further 1,200. So 316,400 sweeps of state space uh, plus 160, you know, 316,000 or so sweeps of state space for policy iteration. And you can see here that it gives us the right answer. So minus 11 for the top square, that makes sense. The one to the right is uh, worse because it takes further to get to the teleporter down here, right? The teleporter is a shortcut. Um, these states here have a value of zero because the agent gets zero reward for stepping into the exit. So that is precisely what we would expect. And if you take a look at the policies, they all make sense. So this only took a few seconds to run on a modern machine. Now, it's not hard to imagine if you're iterating over millions of states, right? We had to do 315,000 sweeps for the initial policy evaluation. If you have order 10 to the 6 states, even more, this is going to take a really friggin' long time, right? You're going to be collecting Social Security by the time it's done running. So clearly, we need something better. This works, but it's not quite good enough. So in the next video, Module 5C, we're going to cover value iteration and see that we can cut this down from order hundreds of thousands down to just a few thousand, iter few thousand sweeps of the state space. I hope this has been helpful. Questions, comments, please leave them below. I answer them all. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.